Hello kids, how are you doing? Welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. We're on Unit 11 right now and we're going to talk about light. So in this unit, you will discover what light is, what is light, and how a shadow, how a shadow is made. So we're talking about light and shadow in this unit. First of all, let's talk about light. What is light? Light is the energy. We're talking a lot about energy in this book, aren't we? There are many different types of energy. Light is the energy that makes it possible to see things. So remember, energy is something that causes change, right? So energy, if we see uh, with this energy, it allows us to see things. If we don't have light, right, there's no light, we can't see things. So light is energy that hits something, bounces back, and we can see it with our senses. So light is energy that makes it possible to see things. Without light, we cannot see. We need light to see. Okay, dark is the opposite of light. It's the opposite. Light, pandero, dark, right? Dark, dark means with no light, no light or very little light. Sure, there's some light, but it's very little light. So it's dark in this alleyway. There's light, sure. We can see, but there's very little light. So it's dark. We say it's dark. Also, of course, if there's no light at all, everything's black. That's, of course, dark as well. So dark just doesn't mean just no light. It can also mean little light. Okay, so a couple of things. Sure, there might be a little bit of light, but it's still dark out. So we have to really uh, look carefully to be able to see things. So light and dark. Okay, next we have shadow. What is a shadow? We can see a good picture here, right? This is the shadow of the boy right here. So a shadow is the dark place. This is dark, this is light. The shadow is the dark place here, made when an object, this boy is an object, blocks light. So he's blocking the light. The light is coming in this direction. It hits the boy and it stays on his head. It doesn't go through his head. It stays on his head. His head is blocking it, so it's blocking the light. Other light over here, it can go all the way down. It hits the ground and that's light. The light is not blocked. There's nothing blocking the light. Here, there's a boy blocking the light. He causes a shadow. He makes a shadow and this, of course, is his shadow. So when something blocks light, it creates a shadow. A good word in English, we say it casts. He casts a shadow. He casts a shadow. To cast a shadow, that's what he's doing because he blocks the light. Okay. At night, it's very dark. The sun is gone. There's no sun. So we need light to see by. Many cities will put street lights in their cities. Street light, of course, is two words. Street, this is a street, and of course light, this is a light. So this is a street light. Street lights are lamps on the street. Very easy, right? Street and light. They are lamps here that are on the street that allow us to see the city streets at night. This is a street where people are walking, but many streets in the cities are places where people drive. It's dangerous to drive if you can't see, if there's no light. So cities will put lamps on the side of the streets so that drivers and people who are walking can see and be safe. So street lights make cities safe. They are lamps on the street. Next we have this word here, pass. Pass, in this case, is a verb. This is an interesting picture. Pass means to go through. So what's going on here? We have our light. Light is coming in this direction. This is light. It hits this prism. By the way, this is a prism. Prism. What happens is the light is passing through, but it's very interesting what happens to light when it passes through a prism. 
the light will hit here, it will change direction, and this prism will separate the light into many different colors. So sure, the light is passing through to go through. It's going through this piece of glass. It's going through, but when it passes through the glass, the glass is different from air. It's denser. It separates the light, and that's what happens. It passes through. On the other side, it comes out, and you can see all the different colors that light is made up of. So it's very fascinating, right? It's passing through, sure, but it's being split up. If we look at a window, light passes through a window, but it's not being separated by the, uh, the angle of this glass. It's, it's just going straight through. So light passes through a window very easily because a window is transparent. So to pass through just means to go through. Light passes through some things. Light doesn't pass through all things. Okay. Sunglasses. Here we have another two-part word. Sun is our first word. Glasses is the other word. I'm wearing glasses. Are these sunglasses? No, they aren't. Sunglasses are dark glasses. My glasses are not dark. These glasses are dark. These are sunglasses that protect your eyes from the sun. People wear sunglasses when they're outside. And sure, when I go outside, I change my glasses to sunglasses because you want to protect your eyes from the sun. Be careful. The sun can be dangerous to your eyes. Don't look at the sun, right? Even if you have sunglasses, don't look at the sun. But if you're outside, it's a very bright day. There's a lot of sunlight out. You might want to wear dark sunglasses or just sunglasses because they protect. They protect your eyes from the sun, which is important. Look out after your eyes. Be careful with your eyes. Okay. Where can we get light? Well, one place we can get light is from a candle. And this is a good picture of a candle. A candle is something, it's an object, that is burned. Burned. This flame is burning the candle, right? For light. We burn the candle because we want to have light. If we want more light, we burn more candles. Okay? Light will be coming from the candle. Also, sometimes candles smell good, but our main purpose is for light. We burn candles for light. So if the electricity in your house goes out and you don't have a flashlight, you can light a candle to look around. But be careful because it's burning. That's fire. Be careful with that, Joshim Hale. It's safer, of course, to use a flashlight. A flashlight is the same uh, idea as a candle, we use it for light, but it's a small lamp that uses batteries. It uses electricity. Electricity is in the batteries, and we turn it on or off to get light. So a flashlight is safer than a candle. By the way, just so you know, in uh, United Kingdom, in England, they don't say a flashlight. They call this a torch, which is interesting. <clears throat> and that's in the U. Okay. In the United Kingdom, uh, people from the United Kingdom will call it a torch. So if you go to England or Ireland or Scotland, don't call it a flashlight. They may not know what you mean. You can call it a torch instead. They understand that. But if you go to America, don't say you want a torch <laughs> because a torch is a piece of wood that burns, right, in America. In the United Kingdom, a torch is this. In America, say it's a flashlight. Okay. Here we have a good chart. We have different light sources. We have the sun, which is a very important light source. That's our main light source during the day. When we go outside, it's very bright because of the sun. So it's a very important light source. Also at nighttime, when the sun goes away, right, we still need light. So then we can use light bulbs, a light bulb. This is a light bulb. It gives off light. And of course, we use that inside our homes, inside our classrooms. Also very important at night, we turn on the lights to give ourselves light. Over here, light source is stars. Stars give off light, right? We can see a lot of light in the night sky. We can see many points of light. Those are stars. It's not a lot of light. I mean, it's probably not enough light 
to read by, obviously not enough light to read, read by, maybe enough light to walk around by, maybe, but the starlight is very, very weak. It's not a lot of light. Of course, it's a lot of light in the sky, but not a lot of light on the ground. Okay, and finally we have street lights. Street lights use light bulbs, of course, to light up the streets at night to make the streets safe for walking around, for moving around, for doing things. So you can see at night. Let's do the uh, uh, exercise to match our vocabulary with definitions, okay? We've just learned a lot of good words, a lot of interesting words. Let's match these words with the proper definition. Our words are shadow, sunglasses, light, dark, pass, and street light. Let's match them. First, we have the dark place made when an object blocks light. So we have an object that is blocking the light. The light is coming, this is my object, the light is coming this way, right? And then we have a dark place down here where the light is being blocked. That's a very strange picture. I'm not a good artist, okay? But this is our object. This is the, the, what is this called? This, of course, is the shadow. This is the shadow that is cast when an object blocks the light. A dark place made when an object blocks light. Number two, with no or very little light. With no light or very little light. When we have no light or very little light, we say that it is what? It is dark outside. It's dark outside. Bring a candle, or better yet, bring a flashlight, okay? Then you can see, you can bring your own light. Number three, to go through. So you go through something. Light goes through a window. Light passes through a window. To pass means to go through something. To pass, you go through it. Number four, a lamp on the street. Especially cities will put these on the streets to give light at night. So remember, it's on the street and it gives light. What is it called? It's called a street light. Because these are lamps out on the street, they give us light. And we call them street lights. Next is number five, dark glasses. Not these glasses. These glasses are not dark glasses. But dark glasses that protect your eyes from the sun. So you might want to wear these if you go out on a bright day. What are these called? They're glasses, right? Protect your eyes from the sun. So we put this word and this word together. What do we have? Sunglasses. They're sunglasses. They protect, they're glasses you wear to protect your eyes from the sun. Number six, the energy. Energy, it's a type of energy that makes it possible to see things. So you can see things. What do we call that? We call that light, of course. Of, during the day, we get a lot of energy, light from the sun, and that allows us to see at the daytime. At night, we need to use street lights or a torch or a, a candle or a flashlight to be able to see at night. Here we have our chart, light and shadow, opposites, opposites, light, and shadow. Light is the opposite of shadow. Shadow is the opposite of light. If we talk about light here, light can pass through clear objects. If this is a clear object, the light can pass through. Of course, in this case, the light is getting broken up, but usually light can pass through like a window. It can pass through glasses. Of course, light can pass through glasses. If light couldn't pass through these glasses, I wouldn't be able to see anything, right? They would be black. I couldn't see anything. So light can pass through clear objects. It cannot pass through objects that are not clear. So my glasses are clear, but my head is not clear, okay? Light can pass through my glasses, but light cannot pass through my head. Let's take a look at a video here showing light passing through this triangle prism. Look at the light goes down, it hits the prism, and it goes out. Now, of course, this is a special case. This is not normally like a window of your house or a window on your car or the glasses in your glasses, the glass in your glasses. This is a special case. The light is coming down and it's getting bent by the angle of the glass here and it's getting split. 
All these different colors show us what this light is made of. This light is actually getting separated by this prism and it shows many different colors. By the way, some people will have these types of uh, glass or crystal uh, objects hanging from their porch and during the daytime the sunlight comes down and it makes beautiful colors on the walls because the light goes through and it makes all these different colors on the walls of their patio or outside their house. Very beautiful. Okay, now we're going to talk about shadow. We see here an airplane. Can light pass through the airplane? No, it's a solid object, right? Well, of course, the glass on the canopy, light can pass through that, right? Light can pa pass through clear objects like glass, but the airplane, the metal on the airplane is not clear. Light cannot pass through that. So what happens? It makes a shadow on the ground. So a shadow is the dark place, this dark place made when an object blocks light. So light is coming down. This object is blocking the light, so we see the dark place on the ground, right, where light cannot pass through. Let's take a look at a picture here, a video. We can see that's not the airplane, right? That is the shadow of the airplane. Whoever's taking the picture, the video, is in the airplane, looking down at the ground, and the airplane is passing over the city. Of course, it's in the air. If that airplane was real, uh, obviously it would, ha it would crash by now. <laughs> okay, so now here the airplane is coming in for a landing. It's coming closer, it's coming closer. But we can see very easily the outline of the airplane because the light cannot pass through that airplane. And boom, we're on the ground, right? Now it's all dark because we're very close. And of course now we can see the actual wing of the airplane, right? The light is on the top of the wing but it is not on the ground. It's blocking the light. And same thing here. The light is on the other side, but here we have shadow where the light cannot pass through the, the, the object of the wing of the airplane. It can't pass through there, so we have shadow. Okay, let's choose the correct words. We have two pictures here, okay? And we're talking about clear objects or solid objects, right? Or, or objects that are not clear. Sunlight will or will not, so we have to choose between will or will not pass through the plastic toy. Here we have a plastic toy. Will the sunlight pass through this object? Well, we can see very easily, is there a shadow or not? You can see the shadow on the back side there. You can also see the shadow here. That means that sunlight is not passing through. The sunlight is being blocked, so we have to choose will not. Sunlight will not pass through the plastic because we see that there's a shadow here. Of course, it's not clear either. Sunlight will not pass through an object that is not clear. These plastic toys are not clear. Sunlight can't pass through those. How about this on number two? Sunlight will or will not pass through the water. Well, if you look at the water, right, here's the clear water here and we can see the bottom of the pool on the bottom. So basically, if we look at this, sunlight will pass through the water. Water is clear. We can see through the water. Light will pass through it. But we have an interesting thing here. We have a boy. The boy's body is not clear. Light will not pass through, so we can see the shadow. Whoops, we can see the shadow right here. We can see the shadow of the boy because the boy is not a clear object. He's blocking the light. Also, the side of the pool, the cement, is also not clear, so the light cannot pass through, and we see the shadow of the side of the pool right here. So, sunlight will pass through water because water is clear, but sunlight will not pass through uh, humans' bodies or the concrete on the side of the pool. Only sunlight can go through clear objects like water or glass. Okay, let's take a look at our true-false questions. Number one, there is a lot of light in dark places. A lot of, many, right? A lot of, but we can't use many here because light is non-count. We have to use a lot of. A lot of light in dark places. Does that sound right? If it's dark, there's a lot of light? Well, of course, that doesn't sound right, right? It's false because in a dark place, there's not a lot of light. There is no light or very little 
light in dark places. There is no light or very little light. Whoops, little light in dark places. So we have to change the sentence. That sentence is false. Number two, light makes it possible for us to see things. Is that true? If we don't have light, we can't see things. Light is the energy that allows us to see things. That is true. There's no problem with that sentence. That's absolutely true. Because without light, we can't see things. Light makes it possible. Light makes it, uh, allows us to see things. So it makes it possible to see those things. Number three, a shadow is made when light passes through an object. So if we have an object here, right, and light can pass through it, is there a shadow? No, there's no shadow because light can pass right through it. So a shadow is made when light passes through an object. That's not true. A shadow is made when light cannot pass through an object. A shadow is made when light cannot pass through an object. We have to change the sentence to make it true. So of course this sentence is false. Okay, well, let's take a break right there. We'll come back in just a bit, and we'll take a look at the reading section for this unit. Okay, so welcome back. We're going to go over the reading section for Unit 11. And, of course, our topic is light. So the reading passage will give us a lot of details about light and what it is. First of all, we can see that light is a kind of, a kind of energy. Light is energy. It's a type of energy. There are many kinds of energy. Light is one of those kinds of energy. Where does light come from? It comes from the sun. Light comes from the sun. That's one place that light comes from. Of course, that's the most common place that light comes from. During the day, we have a lot of light because of the sun. But light also, also comes from flashlights, candles, and street lights. So light doesn't just come from the sun, it also comes from flashlights, candles, and street lights. Light is important, obviously, because it lets us. It lets us, it allows us, it makes it possible to see things. Light's important because it lets us. If you say it lets us do something, it's like saying it allows us to do something or it makes it possible for us to do something. It lets us see things. So light, we need light to be able to see things, especially in the city at night. We need light to be able to see where we're going. We need to be able to see what we're writing. We need to be able to see other people. Light allows us, lets us to do those things. Now, light can pass through clear objects, like my glasses. The glass in my glasses, light can pass through them very easily. They're very clear. These are clear objects. Clear means I can see through them. Light pass passes through clear glass or clear plastic. Plastic can be clear, too. Uh, you know, if the, the plastic has no color, you can see through it. It is clear. So. Clear glass or clear plastic, light can pass through these things. But light cannot pass through objects which are not clear. There are many objects that are not clear. This pen is not clear. I can't see through it. Sure, it's made of plastic, but it's not clear plastic, right? My hand is not clear. I cannot, ugh, that would be horrible, right? I could see through my hand. I could see all the veins maybe in the bones. Ugh, that would be weird. But thankfully, my hand is not clear, right? I can't see through it. It's not clear. Light can't pass through my hand. Now, sunglasses will block some light, right? Sunglasses are an interesting case. Sunglasses are dark glasses. They are clear. You can see through them, but they're not completely clear. They're not as clear as regular glasses. So sunglasses, because they're not as clear, they block some light, and this protects your eyes. Of course, you don't want to block all the light. 
you know, your sunglasses are completely black and you can't see anything, that would be dangerous. You'd run into things, right? So sunglasses block some light. Not all light, but some light. But the reason for that is that they protect your eyes. By reducing the amount of light hitting your eyes, you're protecting your eyes. Your eyes don't need a lot of light. They need some light, but not too much light. Too much light is bad for your eyes. So on a very bright day, it's important to wear sunglasses to protect your eyes. When you shine, shine is a good word. Shine is to put light on something. You shine light on something. When you shine a flashlight on a toy, right? So let's say you have a toy, you shine a flashlight on a toy, what happens? A dark shape of the toy will be formed behind the toy. So my flashlight is here, the toy is here, behind the toy there will be a dark shape. It will look like the shape of the toy, but it's obviously not the toy, but it'll look like a shape of the toy on the ground behind the toy. That, of course, is called a shadow. A shadow is made when an object blocks light. So the light can't pass through. It blocks it. It says, you can't pass. I'm blocking you. So the, the object blocks the light. Light cannot pass. It is blocked. You can see many shadows, of course, on a sunny day. On a sunny day, there's a lot of light. The light is very bright. And that makes the shadows even darker. Let's take a look. Here is a sunny day. We can see a shadow here and a shadow here. These, of course, the shadows are moving. They're alive. No, they're not alive. They're shadows of people. People are alive, but they're casting shadows on the ground from the sunlight. So the sun is way up over here. The people are here. We can't see the people, but we can see their shadows on the ground because they're blocking the sunlight. Okay, we've come to our reading skill chart, and our reading skill is organized by main idea and details. Our main idea here is right here, light is a kind of energy. So that's our main idea, and we have details to support this main idea. What is light made out of? What does light do? What, is, uh, what affects light? Okay, so these are our details. We have four main details. We have five blanks. These are the words we need to use to fill in the blanks. Our words are sunglasses, see, shadow, blocks, and passes. Over here in our first detail, we see where light comes from. Light comes from the sun, flashlights, candles, etc. etc. ETC is etc. It means that there are other examples that are too long. We don't have time or space to list them, but there are many other examples. So some examples, sun, flashlight, candles, and many others, etc. etc. Light lets us do what? Lets us. It allows us. It makes it possible to do what? Which of, these ver uh, which of these words down here is a verb? Of course, C, blocks, and passes are all verbs, but we need one of them. Light lets us see, that would be correct, not blocks or passes, but light allows us to see. If we don't have light, we can't see. So light allows us, lets us see. Let's move on. Light beep through clear objects. If an object is clear, we can see through it, what does light do? Well, light passes through clear objects. Light can pass through a clear object. Light passes through clear objects like glass or plastic, air, water. Now, something will block some light and protect your eyes. If you want to protect your eyes, you want to be careful with your eyes, especially when you're outside and there's a lot of light. You can put something on your head that will block some light, not all the light, but some light. They will help protect your eyes. Of course, what kind of glasses are those? Those are sunglasses, a special kind of glasses that allow you to protect your eyes. These are not sunglasses. These are regular glasses. But if I go outside, I will put on sunglasses to protect my eyes. 
Finally, over here, we have a beep is made when an object beep light. Okay, we have two words left, right? Shadow and blocks. So which one goes into this, this, uh, these blanks? What is made? Well, a shadow is a noun, so a shadow is made when an object verb blocks light. So if an object blocks light, the light can't pass through the object. What is made on the other side of the object? That would be a shadow. Shadow is a dark place made when an object blocks light. So this is our chart. We see our main idea is light is a kind of energy and we can see some details about light. Okay, let's move on to the reading comprehension questions. We have the different uh, questions here. How well do you remember what you read? Let's look at number one. What kinds of objects can light pass through? So what kinds of objects, what types of objects can light pass through? Can light pass through metal objects? No. Usually metal, there's no type of metal that light can pass through. Can you think of any metal that light can pass through? There's no type of metal that light can pass through. What about people? Can light pass through people? Can light pass through my body, my hand? No, light cannot pass through people. People cast shadows. What about C, glass? Ah, glass, sure. Light can pass through glass, right? Even if it's dark glass, light can pass through it. Some light can pass through it. So of course our answer is C, light can pass through glass. Number two, light can come from things like Remember we talked about different sources of light. There are many different sources of light. Where can light come from? Light can come from many things, like, for example, A, shadows and the sun. Can light come from shadows? No, light doesn't come from shadows. A shadow is the result of light being blocked, right? So that's not true. <clears throat> sure, it comes from the sun, but not from shadows, so A is not the correct answer. Light can come from things like candles and street lights. Can light come from candles? Sure, we burn candles to make light. Can light come from street lights? Sure, people in the city, they put up street lights so they can see at night. So B is the correct answer. What about C? Light can come from things like sunglasses. Do sunglasses make light? Does light come from sunglasses? No, sunglasses block some of the light so that it protects your eyes, so that's not true. What about toys? Toys don't make lights, right? Toys are usually made of plastic objects. Light doesn't come from plastic, right? So this is not correct. Obviously, our correct answer here is B. Let's move on to number three. <clears throat> Sunglasses will protect your eyes by. How do sunglasses protect your eyes? What do sunglasses do in order to protect your eyes? Let's take a look. Sunglasses let all the light from the sun pass through it. Let all the light. Is that true? No, because then my glasses would be sunglasses. My glasses let all the light from the sun pass through, and these are not sunglasses. So this is not true. Sunglasses will protect your eyes by blocking some of the light from the sun. So not all, but some. And that's true, isn't it, right? So B is our correct answer. Sunglasses block some of the light. Not all of the light, because um, if we block all of the light, then we can't see, right? But again, sunglasses don't let all of the light. It blocks some of the light. It lets some of the light through. Number C, blocking all of the light from the sun. Obviously, if it blocked all the light from the sun, you would not be able to see. You would walk into other people and you would walk into walls. You don't want to do that. So obviously, that's not right. B is our correct answer there. Four, if you shine a flashlight on an object, what happens? A, you can see a dark shape of the object behind the object. Of course you can, and that's of course the shadow. The shadow is what you can see, that is the dark shape. So if you shine a flashlight on an object, you can see a shadow, a dark shape of the object 
behind the object? A is the correct answer. Let's look at B and C for practice. B, the object will become clear. That would be strange, right? If I, shone, if I shined a flashlight on this object, does it suddenly turn into a clear object? No, it's still an object that is not clear. So B, that's not true. C, a shadow shaped like the flashlight is formed. So if I shine a, a light on, for example, a ball, do I see a flashlight shaped shadow behind it? No, I see a ball shaped shadow behind it. So C is not correct. The right answer is if you shine a flashlight on an object, you can see a dark shape of the same object that you're shining the flashlight on. That's, of course, is a shadow. A is the correct answer. Okay, now we've come to our chart. Our chart is showing us different light sources. What are some different light sources? Here we have a very common light source, perhaps the most powerful light source we know of that's been around for a very, very, very long time. What do we call this object that gives us light during the daytime? We call it the sun. Okay, so that is the object that gives us light during the day. It's called the sun. At night, when the sun goes down, we have no more light. So we have to use our, our brains. We had to invent something, right? Thomas Edison had to uh, invent something to allow us to see at night. And what he invented was the light bulb. So the light bulb allows us to see at night. It is a light source. <clears throat> Down here, at night, we can see many different points of light in the sky. Now this is at nighttime. The sun is gone. So these little points of light, we can see them. Maybe it's enough light to be able to walk around by, but it's not enough light to read by. What do we call these light sources? <clears throat> these are called stars. But they're so far away that they don't give us a lot of light. We can see them, but we're not getting a lot of light from them. Finally, over here, at, in the city at night, we can see on the side of the street, people will put up lamps, and we call those street lights. Street lights are as a light source at night, especially in the city, it makes our cities safe. So we can move around, we can get around, we can see where we are going. Okay, so that wraps it up. Uh, our unit, of course, we were talking about light. We talked about what light is. We talked about how shadows are formed from the absence of light, or light can't pass through things. And we also saw many different sources of light, where we get light from. Okay, well, I hope you've learned a lot as usual, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.